Yeah, yeah. first we learn uh, this case on 10 of January when uh, Indonesian friend meet with Erwiana in, inside of the airport, and then they send the picture, uh, the face of Erwiana and also hand of Erwiana. So we, the first time, we not really believe that this is happening in Hong Kong. So we uh, ask again that is real in Hong Kong and uh, she work in Hong Kong because you know that this is the second time after Kartika. So we didn't believe that there is uh, still have the more Kartika in Hong Kong like Erwiana. Yeah. Uh, first, the case is uh, we know that Erwiana uh, uh, is the victim of abuse in Hong Kong by the employers, and uh, there is uh, really uh, uh, you know it's a. Uh, the case is not only just small case, but uh, it's really uh, like more than Kartika because uh, Erwiana cannot walk. When uh, our friend in, in airport met Erwiana, Erwiana didn't want to speak with anyone because the employer treated her, then she cannot speak with all uh, any Indonesian who meet her or with other person because uh, the employer treated that uh, the employer will kill all the employer because the employer have more money. So that's why Erwiana inside uh, airport, she never, uh, you know, telling about the truth. They just say that, oh, I don't have any problem. I just have allergy because it's winter. So, uh, you know, the first time uh, our friend meet with Erwiana is we just suggest that maybe she is a victim of abuse, but because she always refused to tell the truth. So that's why we don't know. But after go inside in the, uh, the plane, Erwiana want to go to Thailand. And then our friend know that she already used the pampers, and then uh, uh, our friend asking, what happened with you when you used uh, pampers? And then she said, yeah, uh, uh, my employer just uh, hit me every day, assault me every day, so that's why I cannot, uh, my employer asked me to wear uh, pampers because I cannot go to toilet. And uh, she said that, just, uh, I just tell you and please don't tell the others. I just want to go home and then meet with uh, my family. So this is the, uh, you know, the, the time that we know that Ariana is a real uh, victim in Hong Kong. So after I uh, arrived in Indonesia and then <coughs> uh, uh, Indonesian friend helped her to accompany her until uh, you know, until her, uh, meet with uh, her family, <clears throat> and then she also when they open the clothes of Ariana, we saw that in the feet of Ariana also some injuries. It's like uh, burning. So that's why uh, on uh, Saturday, uh, family and also Indonesian friend bring Ariana to the hospital to get more treatment from the hospital because it's very uh, not only just you know is the Simple. Yes, just not simple uh, yeah. burn, but it's really, yeah, yeah. I think it's, uh, 90% is a burn of Eruiana. After we <coughs> we also sending our members to Indonesia, in Indonesia, in the hospital, so our members, you know, together with Eruiana, and then we, we get more story uh, regarding the condition of work in, in Hong Kong. And we, we know that uh, Erwiana is the first time work with the employer for one month and one week. Erwiana tried to call the recruitment agency in Hong Kong and then uh, seek help. But uh, the, the agency uh, go to the Erwiana house and then uh, she asking with Erwiana what happened with you and then why you ran away. <coughs> and then Erwiana said, I won't because my, uh, my employer didn't give me salary uh, after I work for one month and one, uh, one week. And then I want to run away. <coughs> and then the agency said, no, you cannot run away because you not yet finished settle the agency fee. And if you want to run away, you need to finish all the agency fee. And then the agency asked Erwiana to go back to the employers. After Erwiana go back to the employer, the assault is frequently happen every day. <coughs> so uh, uh, the employer also locked the door from inside. And then employer also follow her when she doing some works and every day the schedule of Erwiana the employer already have one book it's like a one book schedule so Erwiana work for for 20 hours every day never rest only rest uh, 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. to take rest sleep and uh, em uh, employer only give uh, two slice bread and also one cup of rice for Erwiana to you know to food every day. So that's why Erwiana is become, you know, maybe the the legs and also uh, the hand is become like swell, swallow and also like 
how it's become big and big because uh, Erwiana also not enough drink and um, and also the employer didn't allow her to use toilet every day. So that's why she cannot walk and then employer always hit the injury where where is any marks in the, in Erwiana body and then the employer will a bit again, sponge again and then hit like this every day. And when the employer didn't uh, uh, call Erwiana and Erwiana didn't cannot hear the voice of employer and then the employer will hit her, slap her like this. So this is happened until eight like, months. Uh, and then on on uh, on that day, Erwiana cannot walk, even cannot uh, you know doing the job. So that's why employer sent back her to the airport uh, directly uh, middle middle night midnight around 12 a.m. with uh, China Airlines. And uh, and when the immigration asked Erwiana, Erwiana didn't tell because you know this is already the employer already asked Erwiana just keep silent about the case.